Jim from Javelin here with another SolidWorks tech tip. This, today I'm going to be talking about um, units on your bill of materials. So I've already gone into these parts and I've created some custom properties. One called mass, one is called length. Whoops, I'll repopulate that one for you. So for mass, I'm going to use this drop down and choose the mass from there. And for length, what I'm going to do I'm going to double click on my uh, on my part here and I'll select my dimension so that my dimension gets populated in there. So now I have my mass in units that are uh, that are consistent with the part settings which are grams and then my length which is in millimeters. Now I've already done this for the other two parts that I have. And I have here oops, I have here my uh, bill of materials and I want to add that as a column. So I'm going to double click up here. I'm going to choose the custom property. I'm going to show the length. Now these, these lengths are shown in millimeters but I want them shown in, uh, in inches as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add another column to the right and I'm going to use an equation because I want this length shown in inches. So I'm going to click on my equation thing. Now the first thing I'm going to do is at the beginning of my uh, at the beginning of the equation I'm going to set how many decimal places I want. If you do this at the end it doesn't work. So it has to be done at the beginning. So I want it shown to two decimal places. I'm going to choose my custom property which is length and I'm going to divide it by 25.4. Click OK and now I have my column where my length is in inches. Now another question a lot of people ask is how do I add, uh, how do I show the units that are displayed on here because I can go up here and I can say that this is length inch but that's, well that's one way of doing it but I also want to show my units right beside and I also don't want to have to change the, the title of this column to say length in millimeters. I want to show the units directly beside it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick on my column and go back into here. And I'm going to do a little trick what they call concatenate. And to do this, the syntax is a little bit funny. So what I have to do is I have to add these brackets. Then I can add a quotation mark. And I'll put, and in the quotation mark, that's going to be the text that gets added to the end of this. So then I can just say, um, I'll use capitals, IN for inch, and then I'll do my close close brackets, and now when I click OK, you'll see it adds my uh, my units onto the end, or whatever I've specified in those in those uh, brackets. Just going to show that again on my regular length column, because at present this is, uh, if I try to go into equation, this is tied to a custom property, not to an equation. So I'm just going to delete, just going to delete that and start over. So now I can go in here, specify my length. Use my open and close. Uh, I think they're called braces. And then again, now I have my column with my units.